I'd say stress. Really blooming rain in. Train was overcrowded and cloudy. Weren't quite what we expected. But we're here. We're here. Just got to the road that our coach stays on. And another hill. Come on, sausage. Samaran City Villa. This road, yeah. That's reassuring. He didn't know where it was. So we just asked someone and from their reaction and the direction they pointed, it is round the corner. Just walked all the way up there, probably halfway up Ella Rock, um, and asked a couple where our um, places they googled it and said it looked like it was next to theirs which is down here so hopefully it's a lot closer to town than we are now and it's just badly signposted well it says it's it's here so apparently it is this place but they've just changed their name and not said anything what's the name Tan Samarin City Villa <laughs> Still no luck, no one seems to know where this bloody villa is. So currently we have nowhere to stay. So we might just walk down, cancel. So we've just decided to come and sit somewhere and have a coffee and we booked somewhere else which looks okay. We're going to Ever Tunnel Corner Inn, which is just past the station. It'd be a lovely quiet night's sleep because it's right next to the railway line. But <laughs> when you've got to find somewhere and your budget is ten pounds, you can't be fussy. Finally. Are you booking? Just. Just now. Just yeah, we booked somewhere else, but we don't think oh, it exists. We booked. Thank you. Half an hour? Thank you. Here we go, we've got some tea. Show us around, baby girl. Or Ella Corner Inn, but. Ooh. This is the bedroom. Oh, you can sleep here, and I can sleep there, and we can chat to each other. <laughs> Close the curtain, he might be a voyeur. I'm in the pink corner! Ding, ding, ding! <laughs> if you want to twirl, then you just sit on the office chair. If I want to twirl, I sit on this office chair. There's two showers. Electric makes it look like there could be heat. And danger. It's been a tough day with the scam to get us in the tuk tuk to Hatton Station. Getting on the train at Hatton to Ella, where we've had to stand up for four and a half hours um, in what is meant to be the most scenic railway journey in the world. And then we get to Ella, walk in the 
rain for 15 minutes, up waterfall road, back down waterfall road, <laughs> up waterfall road. So we need a beer, so. Our first full day in Ella, and the weather is rubbish. We've got our raincoats, and we're gonna to go to see the Nine Arch Bridge with Sydney and Shane, who we met yesterday on the train. We've made a little friend, and she's got massive nipples, bless her. I think she's had a few pups. Checking yourself for leeches. Don't hold on to the railing. <laughs> Apparently, it's called the Nine Arch Bridge because it's got nine arches. Very crowded, starting to rain, full of leeches, so yeah, no, good fun. <laughs> been pretty rainy today it has been absolutely hammering it down again and it's just stopped so I think we're gonna go grab something to eat um, go to a tea plantation um, and just chill again um, yesterday we ended up going to treat ourselves for a beer after the long leechy walk and we stayed there for about eight hours <laughs> had a Schmacken omelette for, was it 400 rupees? And now we're just heading to the tea factory in the rain. Next best thing. <laughs> Which one's butters? Fruity. This one, caramel and vanilla seed on that. Choose nice. the difference between white tea and the black tea. No. So the white tea doesn't have cafe. Oh, really? Oh, oh boring. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
here in Ella and we're leaving in a couple of hours. All we've done really since we've been here is see the bridge, attempt to go to a tea plantation which was closed because of a private function and make the most of a happy hour. I can tell why people get stuck here. So you know I said it was raining, we hadn't stopped in ages. Landslide. He said more of it's gonna go. There's some people up there trying to look for it just to get a photo up. I wouldn't stand there because it's, it's going. It's going. And now the Sri Lankans are hacking it down to try and get it moved out the road. Trying to pull it down. Most exciting thing to happen in Ella for a while. I like Ella. I like Ella. Because it's a bit lively, there's a bit more going on, and there is stuff to do, but just not really in the rain. So I've got Ella Rock and Little Adam's Peak. We felt like because we've done Sagiria, Pidurangula, and Real Adam's Peak, you know. One, and also, the bloke from our homestay as well, after that little landslide happened, said that there was one on Ella Rock today and three people have been taken into hospital and it's all over the Sri Lankan news, so we're probably lucky we didn't do it. Right, should we go get those exit points for Chester? Yeah. Build a Wallawi.